Good evening guys and welcome back to Vlogmas day number seven. I've been doing this for seven whole days. Also, I realised I've been saying good morning because I keep filming my vlogs in the morning but actually by the time you watch it, it's the evening. So, good evening, welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So today I am doing the Christmas tag. I was tagged by Gillian. I am also going to tag three other accounts down below. So I'm really looking forward to doing this today. I was really excited when I was tagged in this. I think the questions are really cool and also the questions asked kind of let you know what type of person I am. So it'd be interesting to see what my answers are. Now I have to say, I haven't planned my answers, so I'm doing this purely off of the tongue. I'm just gonna reel what comes off and hopefully I can think of some answers to the questions. Otherwise there's gonna be a lot of editing. Um, out. So the first question is, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Favourite Christmas tradition. I'm stuck on the first question. Favourite Christmas tradition has to be the Christmas dinner, right? Because that is the best bit, having this big feast, all your family around. It's a time of love and a time of being around like the ones that you love and having everybody over for Christmas dinner and having that traditional Christmas dinner. I think that is my favourite Christmas tradition. It helps that I love food. So and a roast dinner is one of my favorites and the Christmas dinner with all the extras, the pigs in blankets, stuff like that, like the, oh, the stuffing. Mm -mm. Yeah, that is probably my favorite Christmas tradition. I should have thought about the answer of the last one before this next question. My favorite Christmas food and dessert. So, my favorite Christmas food has to actually be not only is it the Christmas dinner, it's actually the leftover Christmas dinner in the evening. So something I do all the time is I use, we always get like a really nice loaf of bread or like baguettes. And in the evening when you've had a skin full of alcohol usually, um, or you've just been, you know, chilling out, we have a loaf of bread, a fresh loaf of bread. We put turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, like all sorts of stuff in a sandwich. That has got to be my favorite Christmas food. I love that sandwich in the evening. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm a massive savory person, which leads me on to my favorite pudding is actually cheese. So I'm not a massive sweet person. I will eat sweet food and I do like puddings, but give me savory any day of the week and I will have it. So I love cheese and biscuits cheese and biscuits in the evening with all those different chutneys oh they are just the best so i can't wait for that cheese board it's an excuse to have one isn't it because my husband doesn't really like a cheese board he likes cheddar and jacob's cream crackers that's it whereas i like all the different crackers and all the different chutneys and all the different cheeses I draw the line at blue cheese. I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but everything else I absolutely love. So I'm really looking forward to that cheese board this year. The next question is top three Christmas movies. So the first one, now I'm gonna start with number three and then work my way to number one being my favorite. Number three has to be Elf. I do love Elf. I do think it is hilariously funny. The kids love it. It's a great family movie and we watch it almost every year. I really love that. Number two has to be The Polar Express. I know Gillian mentioned this in her video. Gillian, you have to watch it. It is the most magical, film ever it's so nice and the children love it as well i think the first time we watched it may have been either last year or the year before but we watched it loads and oscar i remember oscar particularly loving it and watching it quite a lot so that is a must okay my number one christmas movie is very odd and i'm not sure if this has been said in anybody else's tag but my number one christmas movie is the muppets christmas carol Mum, if you're watching this, not sure if you do watch this, but my mum used to get us to watch The Muppets Christmas Carol every Christmas Eve, and I absolutely love it. And Simon doesn't get it, and the kids don't really get it, but I think because we did it as children every year, I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It might be a bit old hat now, but it's something I have to watch every year because I love it and it reminds me of being a child. Does your tree go up in November or December? Now, this is debatable because this year it actually went up on the last day of November, which was the 30th, I think. But the only reason it went up on the 30th was because we had Isla that weekend and she was going to a competition on the Sunday when it was the 1st of December 
and she wanted to help us do the tree so it was only fair to do it the day before when she was with us. I put my tree up in December, that's just what I always do and it's the 1st of December and the reason for that is I couldn't get away with it any earlier because my husband is very traditional and does the 12 days of Christmas so he would probably put it up 12 days before Christmas if I didn't insist we put it up on the first so I don't think I could squeeze any more days out of him but I'm happy with the first I absolutely love it I do love how the Christmas tree and the lights make your living room feel it's so cozy so I do love this time of year favorite Christmas memory now I've already touched on this I'm sorry to kind of answer this with like two questions with a similar answer but my favorite Christmas memory has to be Christmas Eve watching Muppets Christmas Carol so my mum would get us to have hot chocolates and we would all sit on the sofa and she would put Muppets Christmas Carol and we'd sit there as a family just all together in one room and it's something I forget is so important for children sometimes I will say let's have a movie night then I'll put a movie on and then I think oh I've got a load of washing to do oh I'll just go and do this and I get up and down from the sofa and actually it's really important to sit there with your children and watch a full movie don't get me wrong I do do that sometimes I'm going to make an effort to do that this year so my favorite Christmas memory has to be cozying up on the sofa watching Muppets Christmas Carol with my family and feeling so excited and content and happy for the next day. The next question is traditional or modern decorations? Hmm, I'm not really sure about this. I live in a traditional house. I have a modern tree. But up until last year I had real trees and I really liked having real trees but they just did my head in after a while because of the needles that drop on the floor. So traditional, I'm not really sure what is traditional. What would you say is a traditional Christmas decoration? A nativity display maybe? We don't have one of those up. Um, so I probably am more modern, um, although I live in a traditional house. But then I, when I wouldn't say so modern that I've got kind of loads of colour everywhere. I, my, I would say I'm quite traditional in a sense that, you know, I've got the green tree and a lot of greenery everywhere rather than big bright colours but I'm, I'm not really sure what that question is to be honest with you. Gillian touched on the foil Christmas decorations that your mum used to hang from the ceiling. I feel you babe. Those Christmas decorations were hideous and every household obviously did them. Everyone obviously loved them at the time but now I couldn't think of anything worse and think of all the blue tack marks on your ceiling. No I'm not about that but I do think they still sell them. I am sure I've seen them in the shops. They're probably not very popular, but I've definitely seen them. Now, I'm not sure if I've done this question in the right order, but I just remembered when I was answering that question about another question, but I've obviously missed a question. So I went through the video and paused it when I saw a question. But I do remember her asking, white or coloured lights? I am a white light kind of gal. Coloured lights, no, not really for me. Do like them. If I was to have coloured lights, I'd probably go for those cherry lights. I really like the coloured cherry lights. And I did consider, actually, that when we have our extension, I'm going to put a Christmas tree out there as well. And one of the trees, I think I will go for colourful. My mum's tree, when we were younger, was so colourful and we loved it. There was tinsel all over it, brightly coloured lights. And I really remember loving that. So I might do that for the kids when we have the extension done but it will be those lovely cherry lights that you get i think if you know what i mean they're beautiful um and i probably wouldn't put much else on the tree just have kind of like multicolored lights but i do like white lights white lights are my favorite i think they are just a bit more kind of subtle yeah so i'm a white light girl the best gift ever given so the best gift i've ever given has to be last year on christmas day I found out we were expecting Spencer. So we had been trying for about two months, two or three months, and I knew that I was due on Christmas day. Didn't feel pregnant at all, but I bought a baby grow that said daddy and me on it, and I bought a pregnancy test just because I thought, how lovely would that be if I was pregnant on Christmas day? But I didn't, I honestly did not think that I would be to the point where I was drinking mulled cider the night before because I just didn't feel pregnant. And then I got up Christmas morning at like 6 a.m., did the pregnancy test, cried my eyes out, went upstairs, woke everyone up, 
um, and then I gave the bag to the children and they opened it and I absolutely loved it. They didn't know what was going on. They were like, why have you bought us a baby outfit? And I looked at my husband and he was really excited. So that is definitely the best gift I've ever given and that is the gift of our little Spencer. Best gift ever received. I'm sorry to do this again, but it has to be the gift of my Spencer last year. It has to be because that was also a gift to me and I'm, not, I'm sorry to sound cliche, um, but gifts are lovely of course, but I do prefer giving than receiving. My husband is very generous. He always goes overboard even though every year I say, no, let's just do one small present each and then a stocking each. We do a stocking because it's like fun for the kids, but we do a stocking for each other. We just like fun little bits in it. Um, and he is very generous, but honestly, the gift of my son last year, I feel very, very grateful for. Our children are blessings, and it was obviously meant to be that I wasn't going to find out I was pregnant until Christmas Day. So that is 100% hands down the best gift I've ever received, and that is Spencer. What do you do on Christmas Eve? So Christmas Eve, very similar to what Gillian said, we have the Christmas Eve boxes, hot chocolate, reindeer food. Oscar actually made some reindeer food, but you would have seen on my other vlog that a mouse ate it. So we're gonna have to go and stock up on some more of that. New pajamas, Christmas movie. I've also got a set I got from, where did I get it from? B&M, make cookies for Santa. So we're gonna make cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve. We also do get together with family earlier on in the day. So my mum usually does a spread at her house. Um, so we always go over on Christmas Eve and we'll just have like a drink or two and a bit of food, like see each other, a bit of a chat, see the kids and then we'll come home nice and early so that we can get everything underway, ready for Santa. So I am so excited to do that. Christmas when you have children is just the best. It is so, so nice seeing their little faces. Christmas Eve will be just everything I said before, relaxing on the sofa, watching a Christmas movie and just getting ready for the big old red man to come down the chimney. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 7. If you did, please don't forget to tune in to Vlogmas Day 8. And also, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas.